New at 10, a husband and father is overcome by heartbreak tonight. Last week, his wife and 12-year-old daughter died in a fiery crash in Santa Clara. It's just horrible, and now the community is coming together trying to help this grieving family. Crown Forest Dan Thorne reports. It's something a parent or spouse never wants to imagine or experience. The heartbreak of losing their partner and their child. I don't want to forget. I don't ever want to forget. But I, you know, still in denial that, that it's not possible. Christopher Chambers' wife, Beatty, and their 12-year-old daughter, Elise, died on the afternoon of June 14th. Mom and daughter were on their way to the doctor's office when their Tesla Model Y crashed into a tree and burst into flames. What happened beforehand is a mystery. So they had an appointment at 2.15. They left around 1.45, which shouldn't have been an issue, you know, getting there on time without a rush. Um, and about 2.30, um, the doctor called actually and said they never showed up for their appointment. Confused, Chambers tried looking for their location on the Tesla app and then called their phones. There was no response. Frustrated, he decided to take his son and drive toward the doctor's office. Within minutes, he saw smoke and then a horrific scene swarmed by first responders. You know, the firefighters and the police were very gentle, but they wouldn't let me anywhere near the scene. One of the firefighters came over and he's like, he kind of like, kind of held me, he's like made eye contact and he just said, you know, keep your memories. You know, remember them that way. Um, because what, if we let you see them, then that's something that you would never forget. Chambers says his wife, Beatty, who he met in China while studying, was strong and smart. She always had high expectations for her family. She was just a very remarkable person, you know, always, always. And she was uh, just always striving for more. His daughter, Elise, would have celebrated her 13th birthday on Tuesday. She was a blossoming musician, and Chambers says she was genuinely nice to everyone. She really had a good heart. She really did. That, that was just her nature. I couldn't have forced her to be nasty or mean or anything. I just couldn't because that just wasn't who she was. Chambers and his eight-year-old son, Ethan, have struggled coming to grips with their new reality. Without a wife, without a daughter, without a mom, and without a sister. The next obstacle is a burial, which Chambers is grateful to get help with through a GoFundMe. As of Friday night, more than $50,000 had been raised by strangers, friends, and family. He's also hoping to get closure by learning from investigators what happened before his wife and daughter died. Whatever, whatever comes out of all this about how they ended up where they did, it shouldn't have exploded, caught fire, whatever you want to call it, so quickly that they couldn't get out. Reporting in Los Gatos, Dan Thorne, Cron 4 News.